Ever wondered how people got those custom boot animations or how their deck screens look nicer than yours? Well, now you don't have to. Let's install Decky Loader and some plugins in today's tutorial to get you what they have. Make sure to pause throughout the tutorial if you need to because we are going to go quick. Here's what you need. Your Steam Deck, obviously. A Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, which is optional, but it is recommended. And that's it. Now let's get to step one. With your deck powered on, enable developer mode. Do this by pressing the Steam button, and then going to System, and then clicking Enable Developer Mode. Then, scroll down to Developer on the left side, enable CEF Remote Debugging. After that, if you have the optional mouse and keyboard, make sure those are enabled in the Bluetooth Devices section. Then, restart. Step 2. After restarting, enter Desktop Mode. Press the Steam button again and going down to Power or press and hold the Power button on top of the deck for about 2 seconds and then select Switch to Desktop. If you press the Steam button instead, select Power and then Switch to Desktop. Step 3. In Desktop mode, open your web browser, Firefox by default, and Google Decky Loader. Then click the GitHub link. Once you're on the GitHub page, scroll down to the heading that says Latest Release. Copy the text that starts with curl and ends with sh. There's also a link in the description of this video if you're watching this on your deck. Step 4. Search for Terminal. Do this by clicking the Steam Deck icon in the bottom left of the screen and either search for Console in the Search text box or scroll down in the All Applications list. If you've never set a password for your deck before, you'll need to do that now. Type the command on the screen and hit Enter. It'll prompt you to set a password. If you didn't attach a keyboard or mouse before, Press the Steam and X buttons together now to pull up your on-screen keyboard. Once your password is set, paste the curl command you copied in step three. Let it finish installing and then restart. I'll give you a few seconds to watch it finish. We've got time. Step five, once your deck has rebooted, press the three dots button on the front of your Steam Deck to pull up the overlay. Scroll down to find the power plug icon. If it's not there, make sure to restart. If Decky Loader is there, press the gear button in the top left of that overlay and then install update. Your deck will then reboot, that's normal. Step six, open the dots menu again, scroll down to Decky Loader and you're done. Now you can hit the icon in the top right for the plugin marketplace and add some of my favorite plugins. Let me go over a couple real quick. These include Animation Changer, which lets me have that Spider-Man intro every time I boot up my deck. Or I can change my sleep mode animation. Then there's ProtonDB Badges, which if you're not familiar with ProtonDB, is a great place to find the compatibility of games on Linux. So on deck, it shows up here in the game banner. And if you'd like more details, you can click on it and see what hoops you have to jump through to get it to work on deck. And finally, everyone's favorite, Vibrant Deck. This plugin lets you play around with saturation and gamma levels, making those colors pop on screen. And for those of you with that 512 gigabyte model and matte screen, I personally felt this plugin at least partly addressed those muted colors. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you like content like this, please do hit those buttons you see up on screen and check out the affiliate links in the description below. They don't cost you anything and every little bit helps this channel. As always, thanks for watching and hope to see you again next time for more games, gadgets, and gear with GG.